He's escaping! Guard! Guard! Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I've returned here to Falkreath at the behest of the Jarl who wants me to talk to a man that they have locked up charged with killing a little girl. Now, that is one of the most heinous crimes I can possibly imagine. Why would a grown man kill a little girl? Well, I guess that's what I'm here to find out. I don't know if it's that he's not talking to anyone and that he might talk to the Archmage. But I'm about to go in here and find out. I think these are the barracks. Oh, hello, gentlemen. I saw those potions over there. I was ready to... Wait, what is this book? I, I'm sorry, I'm just curious. Killing before you're killed. Okay. And I suppose would this be stealing? It would be. You know, I wanted to mention, when I was helping Brother Verilus, I don't know, a few weeks ago, I came upon a, a jade statue in the Hall of the Dead and a book. I think the book was on restoration. And I accidentally stole it. Come to find out, he hired some thugs to hunt me down and punish me for stealing. Needless to say, the thugs are no longer alive. But let me go down here and talk to this man. I don't know what I'm going to do about Verilus. I, I think I'll just let it go for now, but should he send anyone else after me, I'm going to have to go and visit him. I'm just so curious as the books and stuff around here. Hmm, well, this is a, this would be a stolen book, too. I, and I, I also had to pay a fine for that, too. For, I mean, it's just ridiculous. All right, this seems to be him back here in this, in this cage. Need something? I've come to see you. Could you approach the bar, sir? Sir! Alright, well I guess he doesn't want to cooperate. Where's the guard? Guard? Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. You, there's no need to be rude. And that is something that I don't tolerate. So, now, why don't you go around, walk around Get your buddies and see what they have to say. Can you get him to come here to the door? Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. Oh no, I struck him from here. Could you come here so I can talk to you?
Yes? Yes, come here. Don't say anything about a sweet roll. I need to talk to the, the man inside this prison. Hmm? You are that mage from the college, right? Your things have finally calmed down over there. They have, and thank you for being civil. Sir, I need to talk to you. This probably is not going to end well. And he's lucky I can't incinerate him from here. And there's no key or switch to get inside. Yes? Yes, come here! Fancy yourself an alchemist. Locks around work. here, we're going to have a real problem. Maybe I'll just come back later. And I'm not getting any cooperation from the the people that uh, work here, the guards, or anything. Um. Have I concluded my business with you? You were looking for a dog. Steel's good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Dengir first, and the Empire second. Okay. Well, you know that dog on the road you asked me to get? Yeah. He ended up being a lot more trouble than he was worth. Anyway, it's done. Time to move on. Much obliged. Here. It's not much, but take it anyway. It really isn't much, but I suppose thank you. Oh, boy. Maybe I should go and have a drink and then try one more time. And I'm getting out of here. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Oh, hello, sir. Be mindful. My maid, Tikla, has been known to pass information to that pompous nephew of mine, Sidgir. I was Jarl once, but I was encouraged to step down when I took sides with the Stormcloaks. It was an Imperial plot, I tell you. So, you say there's a plot against you, eh? Well, not against me, against all of Falkreath. Those Imperial bastards are spying on every one of us. Last night, I saw Laud the Blacksmith writing a letter. <laughs> Probably sending word to Solitude and General Tullius. Are you loyal to Skyrim? Break into Laud's house and get that letter. Well... I'll do it, but... Only because I like being sneaky. Good. And you said you were once the Jarl? Aye, 
not so long ago. Some will tell you I stepped down on account of my old age. Truth is, I found out about all the Imperial spies crawling around Falkreath. A few well-placed bribes, and they bought themselves some friends. Suddenly, the nobles are calling for a new Jarl. And all the while, their pockets are jingling with the sound of Imperial Septons. They named me Thane. They got my nephew Sidgear in my place. A real friend to Cyrodiil, that one. Oh, you do realize that I'm an Imperial, I hope. But I'll overlook your impertinence. Mind what you say. The Empire has ears all over this town. I bet they do. Hello, miss. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. Hmm. You hear any juicy gossip in town? Be sure to share it with me. Absolutely. Okay, well... Be mindful. My maid, Tikla, has been known to pass information to that pompous nephew of mine. Sure spoons. Handsome man in Falkry. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, so someone wants me to break into Lod's house. spell what I'm looking for I'm sure I have an invisibility potion somewhere here we are seem like it worked. What am I looking for? Oh wait, here's a letter from Lod. Old friend, need all the iron ore you can dig up. Double my usual order. I know the mine isn't as rich as it used to be, but I'll pay extra. Signed, Lod. Alright, let me bring this back to that old man. Oh, hello, guard. Let's see, hopefully he's still in the tavern. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around. Oh, here he is. Den gear, isn't it? I was Jarl once. Here's Lod's letter. Save me the story. Code. What's this? Some kind of code? Need as much iron ore as you can dig up. Well, he's not spying, but it's clear the Empire's making Lods smith up more swords and armor for them. Good work. Take this. And what exactly do you need from me? You may have seen the open grave in our graveyard. Most of the townsfolk think it's the work of a corpse thief. The truth is less pleasant. It is, was, the grave of Vigar, my own ancestor. Dead for centuries now. He is also a vampire. What? My family is entrusted with keeping him buried. But recently, someone stole the ward stone, and Vigar escaped. <laughs> And you want me to find the Wardstone, right? No, it's too late for the what? Wardstone. Vigar must be destroyed. If this gets out, my family will suffer great shame. All right. I'll do what I can to make sure that Vigar is destroyed. Good. He will have fled to gather others of his kind. 
You really need a man, don't you? Anyhow, how do I get myself into these messes? Now I have to hunt down vampires? Alright, let me pay a visit back to this jail cell and see if this man will talk to me. If not, I'm, I'm leaving. This is ridiculous. Why don't the authorities do something about it? They, they, he confessed to killing the girl. They need to, to do something. Oh, he's still up against that wall. Could you come? Oh, he's coming. Yes? Come to gawk at the monster. Well, it's about time you got off that wall and came here to talk to me. I hear you attacked a little girl. What do you have to say for yourself? Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just... lost control. I tried to tell them, but none of them believed me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. What ring? This is the ring of Hersene. Hersene? I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to. But I'll never know. Hersing didn't care for my taking it, and threw a curse on it. I put it on, and the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times, like with the little girl. What kind of transformations? I don't suppose there's a point in keeping the secret if I'm going to die in here anyway. I'm sure you've heard of men who shift to beasts under the influence of the moons. I am one of them. A werewolf. Yeah. It's my secret. And my shame. That's why I wanted the ring. It was said to give men like me control. Now, I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. Hmm, I've met the companions and they've offered me werewolfism. I'm wondering, with that ring, if I could control it. Anyway, who is her scene? Do you not know the Daedric Lord of the Hunt? He revels in the chase, and also gave the gift of lycanthropy to mortals. A powerful force not to be crossed, as I learned too late. Well, what will you do now? Surely they're going to execute you. I've been looking for a way to appease Hersing. There is a certain beast in these lands. Large, majestic. It's said that Hersing will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my accident with the child. I want to beg his forgiveness, give him back the ring. But while I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free. I have to ask, why did this make you attack the girl? I had just come into Falkreath. They needed some help work in the mill, and I thought that would be something safe, something I could do. When I saw the little girl, I was just... I could feel it coming on. I could taste her. I needed to hunt, but this pitiful, limited body wasn't meant for hunting. Slow, no claws. Weak, mashing teeth for shoeing cud. I held in my rage as long as I could, but it boiled inside of me. She looked so fragile, helpless prey, and then I... I feel terrible about what happened, about what I did. It would probably be best for everyone if I just went away. Really? You think just going away is the answer to this? Don't you think being put to death is, is what you deserve? Well, I might have a use for this ring. I'll take it to her scene. Oh my. You would do this for me? Not for you. Here, take it. I, I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore. Seek out the beast. He wanders these woods. 
bring them down and uh, the Lord of the Hunt should smile on you. I wish you luck, but you leave here while I still have my skin. Should our paths cross again, I will remember your kindness. Farewell. Trust me, I'm not being kind. <gasps> He's escaping! Guard! Guard! What? He's not... What, do I have to catch him myself? Did you see a werewolf? Oh my goodness, I think he's long gone. Did he come up this well? I think he did. Wow. All right, let me get to Dr. Bombay. Well, why am I even doing it that way? Sometimes I forget who I am. Calling Dr. Bombay, calling Dr. Bombay, emergency. Come right away. Good to see you, old friend. I thought you were about to leave me. Okay, come on. <laughs> All right, we're looking for some sort of a beast or majestic creature. Just activated. There's danger. Look. Got you. A ghost? Well met, Hunter. Didn't I just kill you? And skillfully, too. I've been watching you for ages, it seems. You have the makings of a fine hunter. Really? You may even be my champion. Perhaps. Then, you're... Her scene? I am the spirit of the hunt. Just one glimpse of the glorious stalker that your kind calls her scene. Will you remove the curse from this ring? I may consider it. But you must first do a service for my glory. The one who stole it has fled to what he thinks is his sanctuary. Just as a bear climbs a tree to escape the hunt, but only ends up trapping himself. Seek out this rogue shifter. Tear the skin from his body and make it an offering to me. Um, well, I really think that he deserves to die for what he's done, so... It shall be done as you ask. Fly, my hunter. There are others who vie for my favor. A bit of competition. Don't dally while the prey flees. Very well, Lord Hercene. All right, Dr. Bombay. What's going on?
going on? There's danger up ahead. What are these bandits? Stay here, I'll handle this. Ow! Die! Are you? Uh oh! There we go. Dr. Bombay, didn't I tell you to stay put? Oh, this is gonna be fun. I was going to search those ashes, but I guess we'll just keep going. <gasps> Whoa! It's a trap. Alright, let's look at the map. This could be kind of far. Here we are. I hope I'm not going to regret leaving Gorbash at home. Alright, here we go. Bloated Man's Grotto. What is this? Did the werewolf do this? He's dead. I'm sure he won't miss that gold, though. What do you mean, why? Never thought I'd see you again. I've spoken with her scene. And he wants me to kill you. And I would deserve it, wouldn't I? Absolutely. I can't stop you if that's what you want to do. Her scene is too powerful. But if you spare me, I can be a powerful ally to you. And I would promise to never return to civilized life. I know now that I can't live among people. Hmm. No, I, I can't defy her scene. I need him to remove the curse from the ring. You have to die. So be it. All right. Something up here. Well, there's a chest here, too. Necklace of Recuperation. Interesting. Regenerate stamina. I saw him. Uh oh, what? <laughs> Th 
Did he just kill those people? dead people. Alright, it looks like he went this way. Ugh. What these bats? this uh, weird phenomenon when I kill people and they still look like they're alive. All right, I'm gonna tear the skin from his body. You've <gasps> done well, Hunter. I did as you asked. And found my favor. That skin will serve you well, child. Look more closely at it. My glory shall protect you from all this world's grievances. Good hunting. Thank you. Wait, did you take the ring? Oh well, so much for my plan of becoming a werewolf. So long, Sending. I'm sorry, but killing a little girl in my book, there's no coming back from that. Wow, look at all these people that died. This is where I came in. All right, Dr. Bombay, that's taken care of. All right, it's going to be important to let the parents know that their daughter has been avenged. Now, it's time to look and find someone else that needs the help of the Archmage. Here is the gift that Hercene gave me. Savior's Hide. A werewolf pelt, obviously, but it has special properties. It grants 38% resistance to all magic and 38% resistance to poison.